Shalom, brothers and sisters. So, you know, the, the closer we get to lift off and exiting this place to our blessed hope, the more you see in the entertainment of the world how they're actually speaking about what they know lies ahead clearly in their movies, their television series, in everything that's been pushed, and then sprinkled in between all of it, multiple horror movies and evil and darkness that they're putting out and thrillers that all push to this evil dystopian future that lies ahead with demons and monsters. And all of it is just a glimpse of what lies ahead. But there's two, two just basic examples I want to give you. The one is a movie coming up called The Creator. Why would you make a movie now about a creator? And it's about a war between mankind and AI. So again, hot topic at the moment, that fear of AI taking over and destroying humanity. And they are leading a team to hunt and destroy the creator who's creating the most advanced AI. And AI just wants equal rights and the ability to live and so on. So it's this whole conversation they're unpacking around mankind and AI and subliminally kill the creator. Just destroy the creator and everything will be better. And there is going to be an uprising against God in the tribulation period, unlike any scene before. You, you see judgments poured out on mankind and the more the judgments come, the more horrifying the things that are going to happen, the more they don't repent, but they raise their fists to the sky and curse God. It's in Revelation. We just get harder and harder hearted the further they go instead of falling to their knees and begging for forgiveness. The next one is a, a TV series called Loki, aptly named, you know, for the God of Mischief. So the first thing that jumps out at you in the Loki season two trailer, it's just like one and a half minutes, two minutes that they pack all these messages into is there's nothing that stands between this world and utter destruction. How on point is that? That's absolutely correct. Not that anybody who's not awake is paying attention to it. The next one, uh, one of the characters says, we're playing God. And he replies, we are gods. Right? That's exactly mankind's problem. Trying to recreate God in their own image to become God on their own. They're exactly following in Lucifer's steps. Uh, then they state, time is running out. Go figure, because it is running out. This is the end of man's timeline. Everything is running out. The Bible literally says that the devil knows how short his time is. That's why he's going to be so hectic. He's got a lot to do and very little time to do it in. Uh, one of them says, how do you choose who lives and who dies? And then their big bad comes on the scene in the trailer and says, make the hard choices. War is on its way. Right? There is a big bad coming, Antichrist and the devil. And they are going to force everyone to make hard choices to stay alive and to end up worshipping the beast and to supposedly win this great war that they're busy barreling towards. That will be over the minute my Lord opens his mouth. Done. There won't even be seconds in that war. It'll be done and dusted because who are you to challenge Almighty God? This is just what the world, what the devil, what evil, what the Nephilim, what all of these forces and principalities and powers still can't get through their little skulls. You cannot stand before Almighty God and want to challenge Him. Who are you? You're not even a worm in His presence. Yeah. Uh, it's exciting and it's sad all at the same time. It's exciting that everything's happening at such an incredible speed that convergence is so insane. It's exciting that we've actually seen more than we thought we would actually see. I didn't think we'd see as much as we've seen. I thought we'd be gone by now. We've seen so much, but for the grace of God to harvest those last few souls to skip the tribulation. And we are shortly to be gone. It is amazing, but I'm sad for those who still refuse to wake from their slumber, refuse to accept Jesus Christ, refuse to run into his arms, the shelter of his wings, and take refuge by the Most High. There is no other place where it's safe. Get on the boat while there's time. Keep shining your light. God bless. Keep looking up. 
שלום.